Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to closely inspect media items, uh, specifically images, within Family Tree Maker 2014 using the new magnifier tool. Now this tool is available in the Media Workspace uh, Details tab and also within Sources on the Media tab and uh, de Media Detail. So let me show you the Media Workspace first. We'll click Media on the toolbar and then if you're in the Collection tab, which you can see right here, just switch over to the Detail tab once you've selected a media item. If you want it to be on a different media item, you just click the one you want. Once you've got that selected there, click the Detail tab, and you get this view. Now you may be zoomed in more or zoomed uh, to fit like I am here, but either way, the Media uh, Magnifier tool will work. The other place that this works is in the Sources workspace. So I'm going to click Sources in the, in the toolbar. And then you can select a source over here. I've already got one selected. I'm just going to double click that. And then I'm going to click this Media tab. And then with a media item selected, you can just click the Media Details button. Now that brings up a smaller window uh, with a view of the media item in it. Now you can magnify or get a bigger view of this by making that window bigger. Um, or you can leave it the size it was. You can also resize the window, whatever. You can also change the uh, size of the image that's displayed here, either 100% uh, or like this, or um, zoom to fit like I had, or you can change it in other ways. Now that's important with the magnifier tool because the magnifier tool, when I click that magnifier icon, it puts up a little rectangle that magnifies whatever's under where the mouse cursor would be in the image. Um, so it's magnifying whatever is actually there. So if it's very small to begin with, you're going to get something that looks blurry like this. Um, I can make that look, show you even more extreme version of that if I change my view of this to be 25% of the original image. Now my magnifier uh, tool is still selected. You can see this is very blurry. It's useless. So it's important to zoom in as much as you can using the other tools. Uh, before you use the magnifier tool to get the best possible uh, magnification. So in this case, let's go ahead and zoom up to 400%. Now one of the things to be aware of when you're using the magnifier tool is that the usual usage of the mouse within this media detail pane right here is to be able to pan, to grab and move around within this image. And you can't do that while the, the uh, magnifier tool is available. If I click in here, it just doesn't do anything. Um, th there is some limited use of the up and down arrow keys if you click in this box first, uh, but really the way to move things around is to turn off the magnifier tool, which is just done by clicking on it. You can see it's no longer highlighted, and then just use the, the little hand, the mouse, to click and drag to move things around, and then just turn the magnifier back on. You can see now it's highlighted, and we've got the magnifier box. And you can see we get a much more um, closer view of the part of the image that we want to inspect using the magnifier tool. Now this works the same way whether your window is, is uh, bigger. So you can see we've got a big view. It's showing this as the same thing. I've got 400% magnification and it's showing it that way. Or if we go out of here and go to the media workspace, I'll show you in that view. We'll go, we're in the details tab already. Here we're fit to image again. So if I turn this magnifier on right here, then you can see it's magnifying what's there. And again, if we change it to 100%, we get a better view. And if we crank it all the way up, then we get an even clearer view. 